did a thing. I bought a Strandberg. Um, yeah, I didn't need another guitar for sure, but I kind of needed a seven string in my life. I have very little experience with seven strings. I had one for like a month, many years ago. I used it in this one video. I think that's maybe like the only time I picked it up because the neck was really flat and it felt like it was super wide and I just couldn't wrap my head around it. Uh, all I could do is go, go so I uh, got rid of it really fast and haven't touched a seven string since. So I knew that the seven string was gonna feel foreign to me and my thought process was that if it's already gonna feel foreign to me, I figured let's go all the way. Headless, uh, completely geometric neck, uh, new body shape, the, the works. So let's unbox it. All right, I'm doing this Robert Baker style. Let's get it out. Unboxing. Here we go. Uh, by the way, what a nice gig bag that they send this with. This is really stylish and um, primo. Good, good stuff there. This is the one I went for. Headless, multi-scale, uh, fan frets. Is that considered fan frets? Although it's subtle, but it is multi-scale. Um, tuners in the back. I'm not sure what these pickups are. A active? Passive? I'm not really sure. The first thing that came to my mind when I felt the neck was the word stormtrooper. My wife was there, she's like, what are you talking about? It, okay, so I don't know if you can see this, and I've seen this several times, but it's really difficult to tell until you actually feel it. So when you're, when you're down here, it's flatter on the high strings. And it's this sort of like, almost like a V-shaped strat neck, but with a flat top, like a plateau. Um, so your thumb sits at the top, and then you have all of this space for your palm. And as you go up the neck, the thumb area expands. So now that has most of the mass, and the palm area disappears, which you're not gonna be using your palm up there anyway. It's highly likely you'll be more sort of floating and that really lends perfectly for like your thumb position there and then your thumb position down there. In fact, it kind of like training wheels you in this really comfortable way. That was really surprising, but it just, uh, it's, it was odd feeling shapes there, like a stormtrooper armor sort of contour that um, necks are usually just rounded. Uh, I thought this was gonna be weird. That is not at all. It's super comfortable. Now, I don't know if it's because it's a seven string, but my initial feel in the string spacing was like, wow, it's so tight. The string spacing is so close together. The more I've played it, which uh, it just arrived today, the more I've played it, I'm not sure it has small string spacing. The specs on it are very similar to a regular, Strat style guitar. Um, so, you know, maybe it's just having that seventh string in there is sort of messing with my head a little bit. But it, it's it's really comfortable. Look, and I'm, I'm doing thumb over. I didn't think I would be allowed to do a thumb over on a seven string. Um, that's just kind of where I feel comfortable on some positions. And uh, it it's okay. I mean, the neck's not humongous. It's, it's just really comfortable, surprisingly. The next thing that struck me was how balanced it is. Look at this. So I was just like, yeah, I mean, that's super comfortable. Like that's super comfortable. <laughs> it's just really, the ergonomics of it are stupendous. The overall weight is quite light. Um, so, is it semi-hollow? I, I can't tell, because the website is a little 
technical and it, it didn't quite say it says it's chambered but i mean what does that mean is it of course it's chambered here so there's not that much mass left it's chambered under the pickups um is it chambered like in this tiny little spot right here who knows but um it is super light but like i said it's balanced the lightness it's just a lot of this is trying to unlearn what i know about every other guitar the weight and the balance and the ergonomics and the neck feel when you have this in its case and it's on your back you it's invisible i had it on i was going to make a cup of coffee i totally forgot i'm sitting here drinking coffee with this guitar on my back which normally if you have a guitar case on your back you know it you're like how soon can i get rid of this another cool thing about these ergonomics is uh it fits in your car all right i dropped my kid off at the orthodontist and uh i got a half hour to kill so uh, 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 look at this actually way better than like a travel guitar oh my gosh this is so comfortable amazing there it is so i don't think i would leave a several thousand dollar strandberg in my car uh, but like I said, the case is great, so you could take it with you if you're going somewhere. That was a weird scenario that I knew I'd be sitting in the car, uh, and the guitar had just arrived, so that was uh, actually the first time I had really played anything on it. The unplugged sound is a little underwhelming. Now, the other side to that is who cares? So. I mean, I would say that it's like a little plasticky sounding unplugged where it's not resonating deep into the body, but there's a lot of clarity on each string. Each string is coming across very clear and full. It's not that, um, you know, beginner guitar, like plink, plink, plink. The sound is there. It's just not giving you like a foundation underneath it, which some guitars do. Does it translate through, you know, the pickups and out the, the what is that called? Yeah, put jack, input jack, whatever. Um, does it translate? I don't know. I don't think it does. It's all a give or take. So I'm gonna plug this in. I don't know really what to expect. When I've heard clips, to me, the Strandbergs don't sound exactly like traditional guitars. It has kind of its own sound, maybe like a little bit more hi-fi, maybe like uh, like how Parker Flies used to like sound a little different. Uh, it's neither here nor there because I think, you know, we get used to a sound. Like, I love the Les Paul into a Marshall sound because that's what I grew up on. Um, I also love, I love my, you know, rack sounds because that's what I grew up on. Someone else might come along and go like, that's horrible. Do you really love the lamp or are you just saying it because you saw it? If you just embrace it and create something cool, then all of a sudden that sound is accepted. I love lamp. So let's plug it in, and uh, I have no idea what to expect. I think I'm going to run through uh, one of my Friedman profiles in uh, THU and see what uh, that sounds like. Okay, I'm plugged into my Overloud THU Friedman hand-wired. It's the BE100 pack. It's a preset I made called King Ed. Uh, it's just like a great brown sound. Um, I just plugged it in to see if it's working. Holy crud. <laughs> Like, that sounds great! Please, please forgive all the clams. I am still drifting where I go, oh no, I'm a whole set of strings down. Um, I am very confident that I'll be able to figure this out. It's only sometimes like if you sort of lose track, especially if I'm borrowing, I'm like, uh oh, which uh, set of strings am I borrowing here? But it's all right, it's, it sounds awesome. <laughs> Thank you.
Now I am finding I need to lean on the noise gate a little harder. So if you could stomach having a noise gate on, like it helps. I I'm still dealing with a whole bunch of resonances. <laughs> absolutely nothing to complain about here. Um, I'm finding this is a bit of a challenge. That's the tone knob and that's the volume knob. When I reach down, I go volume knob. I would love for these to be backwards or, I don't know, am I really gonna use the tone knob? I mean, how often would I go to it on something like this? Uh, let's do a clean sound. Okay, this is a uh, one of my Def Leppard style patches from Iconic Tones, Volume 1, Hair Metal. This cracks me up. I keep seeing this and going, oh, what guitar are you playing? That's all you gotta do. All right, here's the sounds. So I bought this on Strandberg's reverb site. They sell refurbs. So normally I'm like, I'm not gonna go for a refurb, but uh, again, it's that seven string thing of, is this gonna work out at all? And I didn't wanna drop all the money, Let's see if I could get a discounted one. But I don't know if I can keep the refurb. I'm, I'm really loving the guitar so I think what I'm gonna have to do is return the refurb and then get a non-refurb one, to be honest. Um, what, I'm, what I found was, um, well, it sounds great. It plays great. That's great. It came out of the bag, delivered from FedEx, in tune, ready to go. It's, they're doing something right. But like right here, I could feel, right here on the thumb spot, there's some sort of it's not a ding, but it feels like a like a scratch almost. So it goes a dick as you cross over right in there. And it's it's in this like first position zone that I just feel it constantly. So that's a bit of a drag for a new guitar to have a, a ding. To be honest, 90% of my guitars have dings up and down the neck because of me. But um, you know, I want to be the one that dings the, the neck. Those little things just have me going, oh, I don't know about that. As I sit here, I think this might be a one generation older model because I thought they were only using uh, Sir and um, Sir and Fishman pickups, but these don't have an, a name and they're not Fishman and they're not Sirs, so I don't know what they are. Uh, is this like the LE of Strandbergs? I'm not sure. If you know, in, please in the comments, let me know. I'm learning this as we go here. Um, I like this so much. Gosh, if you go to like the next level, is, is there a next level? I'm gonna do a quick AB with a couple of my guitars just so I could really pinpoint what the tonality of this is. Uh, I like it, I'm just trying to really find exactly where it's sitting. Oh, JCM 800, uh, like cranked up. <laughs>
I just don't love this particular one. Like I said, um, a couple of the refurb things, they're going to bother me. So I don't think that's um, that's for me, uh, really. Um, also, I'm, I wonder about these pickups because overall it has sort of like a, whatever the opposite of presence is, dark. But it's it's like not dark. It's just a little like covered. Um, it doesn't sound like a Sir pickup, doesn't sound like the Fishman stuff, and I have a feeling if the newer models have that, that is going to elevate the guitar a lot. So um, I think that's the direction I gotta go, but seven string is kinda awesome, and I'm feeling good about it. I do still get lost, um, but I mean, hey, that's, I think, to be expected. Um, this neck just is so comfortable in the size of the thing overall is fantastic. Uh, it's great. There's just nowhere to lean it or to hang it up on the wall, so I haven't figured that out yet. But anyway, um, yeah, I think experiment a success. Um, it's going to be cool. All right. Thanks for watching. See you.